So what makes you think you can direct? Um. Um. You expect me to hire you because you have a vision for um? No, I, I just... I wonder how many times Hemingway said um to describe his work. Or Spielberg. I wonder if E.T. was really phoning um. Do you want to listen to me or not? Please, go ahead. <clears throat> well, you see, uh, when I was a child, my mother... Oh, God. What? You're going to pull the mother card, aren't you? What are you talking about? You're going to tell me that your mother just had this feeling about you ever since you got your first Fisher-Price camera. That's not what I was going to say. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. You were going to use the mother card. Admit it. I wasn't. Liar. <sighs> All right, let's uh, try a different approach. Why don't you tell me the skills you think I need to direct? Directing skills. And you've never directed, so you're out of luck. Why am I having this meeting? Because I can direct. Prove it. Uh, all right, fine. First of all, you. What's your name? Me? Dominic. Dominic. Hi, listen, we need to mix this up a bit. This whole back and forth thing. It's total soap opera. We want the audience to be tense at the beginning of this scene. So in order to do that, we need to take our characters' point of view more often, get inside their lives, you know, get some inserts, like, like that stress ball she's squeezing under the desk. Let's get things like that, OK? I've got some storyboard ideas I'd like to show you. Give me two minutes. I could be no right... No time, I'm afraid, Dominic. Budget constraints. I need you to think on your feet, OK? Sure. OK. Now, who's in charge of props? This shot's gonna look like I shit. Hi. Listen, look at this desk. <laughs> there's, there's no life. You know, this film isn't about a Gilligan's Island sort of woman with only one emotion, nor is it about making the ultimate cliché of a Hollywood player. This is about a woman who's ready to open her heart and make a change. Tell me what you need. Well, uh, how about a, uh, a picture of her kids on the desk and maybe a, a, a plaque for some civil service that she's particularly proud of? And let's get something colourful and sad hanging on the walls, OK? I'm on it. You're the man. Now, uh, tell me about your motivation in this scene. I want you out of my office. Is that all? I want to make you feel bad, too. Why? Because you're a putz. Why? Because you have no experience. But you don't know me. You don't know my talents. You don't know if I'm a, a hack or a genius. And yet you still want to make me feel bad. Why? Because I... Because you... Because I always wanted to be creative. And my mother wouldn't let me. And how did that make you feel? Angry. And? And sad. And sad. Great work. <sighs> Turn that plaque around. This is a woman who thinks others will see her charity as a sign of weakness. So she's the only one that's allowed to see that. Mm. And let's change this picture of her kids to one of her severe mother. She can't have kids. That would be a creative act. Brilliant. Who are you? Are you in charge of wardrobe? Yes. That's perfect. Can I borrow that? M my knitting? Yes, can I have it? Thanks. OK. This is your one creative act. Your grandmother taught you to knit behind your mother's back when you were a child. You're making a baby blanket. You hide it in your office drawer when no one knows about it. It's your little secret. I've always wanted to knit. OK. OK, people. Let's take it from the top. Oh, and Dominic, Dominic, I'm having a moment here, so let's uh, move in for a close-up, OK? So, 
What makes you think you can direct? Um. Um? Expect me to hire you because you have a vision for um? I wonder if Hemingway ever used the word um to describe his work. Cut! Who's the writer here? I am. Oh, hi. Listen, uh, would you mind making some changes? I think she's acting out of character here. Yes, I would mind. You'd mind making some changes? It says right here that I would. You're fired. Prop guy! What? That's not in the script. You're fired. Get lost. Your boss. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need that. How would you fancy playing the writer? Please don't tell my agent. I'm on it. I wonder how many times Hemingway used the word um to describe his work. Cut! Where's the writer here? Right here. Hi, listen, I think the uh, script needs to be reworked slightly. Would you mind changing it with me during lunch? No, that would be great. Okay. We're going to take it from the top after lunch, everyone. No. Great. So what makes you think that you can direct? Um... You don't even have... Oh, this is ridiculous. Cut! What's the problem? My lines don't make any sense. Oh, well, uh, maybe uh, I should find someone else. Someone else that can make sense of the lines. Actually, you know what? You do, you look a little old to be a Hollywood player anyway. Well, hey, hey, just a second. I, Drop I, guy! I just wanted to tweak the line a little bit or something. How would you fancy being a Hollywood player? Hey, give me another chance here. I can do this. Okay. Okay. Let's take it from the top then, shall we? <laughs> So, what makes you think you can direct? Um... You don't even have to answer that question. I have a gut feeling about you. You're the right man for the job. So, tell me. What do you want to be paid? Cut. Print. That was perfect. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. No, it was great. Mm. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. It was great. <laughs> Felt so good. So, uh, do I get the job? No. What? You know, just because you can direct a short doesn't mean you can pull off a feature. <laughs>